I'm back with another video, and today uh, we're going to be trying uh, this uh, Nora's Pasta Sides as a budget backpacking meal. I'm thinking about starting a new series called um, Trying Cheap Backpacking Meals or Trying Budget Backpacking Meals or something like that. Because I've already tried the ramen bomb, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically just top ramen, uh, instant mashed potatoes, and spam that you put together. And it makes a pretty hefty meal, it makes quite a bit of it. And it's about a dollar two fifty, maybe. And that wasn't with me. and I didn't even use all the ingredients. So I would say it's about a buck seventy five for the whole thing and you get a lot of food. And this is uh Nora's pasta size. This is another popular uh budget backpacking meal. This was ninety nine cents. And I know that Backpackers Pantry has this fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. It theirs does have chicken, but it's about nine dollars. So if you want a chicken, you just buy some of the like the one that comes in like a pouch, kind of like a tuna pouch, the tuna, the darkest tuna. I know they have some chicken like that. So if you want a chicken, just throw it in there. But this is what it looks like. That's the package there. And so, like I said, this is the fettuccine alfredo. So we're gonna just make this how it says. I know it says to use milk, and you can't really bring milk backpacking, but you can bring powdered milk. So it's pretty much the same thing, but it'll taste just a smidge better with actual milk than it will powder milk. But we just want to get an idea of the taste here. So it says the um, the the directions to cook it is you heat up or in a medium saucepan, bring to a boil one and a half cups of water and half a cup of milk and one tablespoon of margarine, which is optional, and you would bring that all to a boil. And then it says stir in contents of package, continue. Okay, stirring contents of package, continue boiling seven minutes or until pasta is tender, stirring occasionally. And then step three is let stand at least two minutes, stir, stir, serve, and enjoy. So, seems not hard to make. You could definitely do this out in the backcountry. Just, you know, boil up your water and stuff. Um, normally, well, I, people say you can't cook it in this bag, but I'm going to try that sometime to see if you actually can. But I don't want to do it this time just because this is the only one I have right now, so I wouldn't be able to redo the video. But maybe in the next, if I do one of these again for the series, I will definitely try and cook it in the bag. But um, but in the back country, you would want to put it in like a freezer Ziploc bag. And you want to use the freezer ones because the other ones, they uh, I hear they melt when you put boiling water in them or just stuff that's too hot. So you want to use the freezer ones because those are designed for that. So yeah, we're going to cook this up. I might show you me cooking it or just parts of it. So yeah. Okay guys, we're back from making it, and this is um, all of it that it made, so a good amount, I think, and it doesn't look super creamy though, looks kind of shy on the sauce, but let's try it, I mean it was a dollar, doesn't look bad for a dollar, okay, so 
Thumbnail. Bite. That's good. I mean, it doesn't taste like uh, fettuccine, alf fettuccine alfredo you get at like a restaurant, but you know that's you know twelve fifteen dollar fettuccine alfredo. This is a dollar. This does kind of taste like pastaroni. If you guys know what that is, it's the one that comes in like a box for like a ninety nine cents something like that. But this is good. It is not super al dente, but it is still good. It has a strange kind of cheese taste to it that it's kind of hard to explain. But it's got a different taste than other fettuccine alfredo. But it's definitely not bad. For a dollar, I would take this over a Mountain House because, you know, Mountain House is seven to nine bucks for a, a typical dinner. But yeah, this is very good for, you know, a dollar. I think 99 cents, actually, wasn't even a dollar. So I will definitely take this next time I go backpacking. Uh, possibly, maybe not. I might take the ramen bomb instead, but this is very good. Next time, if I do make another one of these videos using a Norris product, they also have like rice sides and different things. Um, I'm going to try it in a freezer bag. No, I'm going to try it to just cooking it in this bag like this and see if it still cooks the same or if you do have to cook it outside of the bag. And also, if you guys want to see more of these videos, just leave it down in the comment section. Uh, I was going to say something. Rats, I forgot. Maybe if I eat this, it'll come back to me. Hmm, I can't think of it. Ah! Well, I'm just not going to say it, I guess. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching. If I remember what I was going to say, I will put a... Just uh, some words at the end of this video, if I can never remember. Wait, this is fettuccine, oh, creamy parm, yeah, parmesan. I knew I was tasting some sort of cheese. Okay, yeah, it is parmesan that I was tasting. That wasn't what I was going to say, though. But, yeah, if I do remember what I was going to say, I'll leave it um, in, you know, just a black picture with some words or something. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, guys, so I actually did remember, um, I was going to say, I did make this with milk, and I would suggest that you take powdered milk, because I don't think this would taste very good without milk. So yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Uh, if I do take this, I'm going to take some powdered milk, because I don't really want to eat this without milk. So yeah, that's all I was going to say. So this time... I'm really, the video's actually over, so please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.